guys, this is Stacy with Lip Candy with another tips or lips. And today it's going to be a tip on business. So yesterday I was running errands, kind of like today, and I went to Ulta to pick up some eyelash glue for my daughter. And as usual, I'm walking around the store looking for anything with lips on it. Um, and I happened over to hear a lady that was asking an employee about what mascara would work for her. Because she actually had purchased a couple mascaras and her eyes are sensitive and they bothered her eyes. Plus, they were smeary under the eyes, on top of the eyelids. We all know that. So, she was frustrated. Wanted to know what she could do. So, she told the employee what, what product she was bringing back. And mind you, I'm walking around and I can hear her specify what product she's returning. And yet, the employee kept recommending the product she was returning. She kept suggesting the the real which I know well and I love how it looks but it does smear <clears throat> and this lady had already told her they're real smears and she was returning it yet the employee kept trying to sell her they're real so tip number one listen to the customer listen 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 step number two always listen for an opportunity hmm I think there's a common denominator listen so, <clears throat> what did I do? As soon as that employee walked away, I moseyed right on over and I started chit-chatting with her. Of course I did. And of course she sees everything on my arm, on my hand, and I just kind of said, you know what? I understand your pain. I used to have that problem too. And I said, I've tried their reel and I loved how it looked nice and thick, but it did smear into my eyes too. And she's like, well, yours isn't smearing. What are you using? I said, well, actually, funny you should ask, but that is by a company called Synogen. It's pretty amazing. And um, I said, I actually sell it. I'm actually an MUA for the company. And uh, you know what? I would love to show it to you. So, of course, your little face light, lights up. And I said, and I believe you. I overheard you say you're very sensitive. She goes, oh, yes, everything bothers my eyes. And I go, you're going to love this because it rarely bothers anybody. So, let's get your name, and I'm going to reach out to you. She goes, okay. So, you could tell she was a little hesitant pondering at first. And I go, I'm going to give you my card as well. And she goes, oh, yes. Do you have a website? And I go, of course I have a website. So, I hand her my card. And, of course, she's looking at it going, oh, my gosh, I love your card. So, because anybody who knows me knows that <gasps> it's a bright pink lip. So, fun, fun. Anyways, I hand her my business card. And then I go, you know what, can I, can I? make a comment just in a thought and she says of course and I said well I noticed your skin looks pretty dry and I said beautiful face structure I love it but your skin's kind of dry isn't it and she goes oh my god I'm pretty hormone or uh you know yeah I'm you know my hormones and everything are wacky and yeah it's very dry and I hate it and I said I get it I understand because that was me about five years ago now not so much in fact, my skin's really very moisturized. And she goes, oh my God, I love your skin. You had dry skin. I said, honey, I had terrible skin. But my company's product, Synogens, change that because it's fabulous. My makeup is skincare based. That's right. It's skincare. It blocks the sun. It's anti-aging. It heals. You will love it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your number. So I pull up my phone get her name. I input her number because now she's giving me her number. And I said, I'm going to reach out to you tomorrow. We're going to schedule you an appointment because I'm really booked right now, but I'm going to make time for you because you're beautiful. And I hate that you've had to come back here several times to return stuff, haven't you? Of course, she says, yes, many times. And I said, and you got how many in there? And she goes, two. You're returning two mascaras today. Yes. And I said, I bet you're tired of it. Yes. I go, well, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to come to you wherever you live and we're going to do a makeover. And you're going to try it out that day. And you're going to run around in it. And I want you to do, put it to the test. Go to the gym. Whatever you want to do. Check it out. And then you're going to let me know. And then we're going to set you up to get whatever product you need. But you're going to put it to the test first. She's like, really? I go, of course. Makeup's personal. And you got to try it. That's the beauty of it. You don't have to take it home. I'm going to come to you. And it's guaranteed, 100%. 
but I want you to test it first. So I'll call you tomorrow and we'll schedule you. So tip number three, follow up. Today I called her. She couldn't believe I called. She's like, oh, you called me. I said, of course, I told you I was going to call you. So I have her scheduled on my books. She is ecstatic. Then as I'm talking with her and touching base and I shared a couple things about myself personally, she opens up to me that her daughter is also going through hormone issues and she would probably love to see the skincare too. Well, guess what? That's number two customer. All because they took the time to listen while I'm walking around. Because we all hear those things as we're walking around. We just sometimes don't take the opportunity to reach out to somebody. Be friendly, smile, be helpful. You never know what it's gonna get you. And you never know who you're gonna bless at the same time. So, anyways, that's my tip for the day. Have a wonderful, lipalicious day. Oh, and what am I wearing? I am wearing a roseberry lined with berry and pink glitter gloss today. Fabulous. Love it. It's kind of fun and spicy. Anyways, have a little blush day. Love you guys.